And telephone number, if you want to be on the program, is 800-282-2882. The email address, lrushbo at eibnet.com. Look, I, I just, this Donald Sterling business, I have to tell you something, folks. Uh, this is not news to anybody who has known of this guy. I mean, I... I'm telling Mr. Snurdly this morning, this guy's a big Democrat. The, the, the only reason he's in trouble right now is he did not give enough money to Obama. This guy was going to get a leadership award from the NAALCP LA chapter. The second one. This guy is a typical Hollywood Democrat. He's sort of a pretend uh, A-lister, but who he is, his racialist tendencies, his and everything on these tapes, it's been so widely known by everybody in the NBA, everybody in the sports media for 10 to 15 years, forever, however long he's owned this team. And all of this shock and outrage, I'm going to tell you something, it is as phony as as you can believe, everybody in the media, from L.A. to New York, who's acting shocked about this, I'm telling you, they've known who this guy is for the longest time. They've known he's a slumlord. They know that he's a racist. They know that he's basically a despicable human being. And now he's he may be demented, uh, in, in addition to whatever else he is. I mean, I, I can remember my, my, when I first started going out to Los Angeles and started meeting people uh, out there, something happened. I mean, 10, 15 years ago, the name Donald Sterling came up, and I'm asking my friends, who is this guy? And I, I heard everything 10 to 15 years ago that I'm hearing about the guy over the weekend. And all during this period, I'm like, well, how does this guy hang on? How does it? Well, the Clippers never win. The second rate team in LA, the Lakers own it out here, and it's just an afterthought team and any big deal. It doesn't get in anybody's way. Uh, and he pays these guys decent NBA salaries. But it's, 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 it's been known. The guy gave money to Gray Davis, the guy gave money to Bill Bradley. He has been he's been donating to Democrat causes, doing what you do in Beverly Hills in L.A. to be in the A-list crowd. This guy's been doing it other than the slumlord business. And that may even be some of what you have to do. Uh, You talk if you get anybody in the NBA, anybody in, in the media world, L.A., to be honest with you, they'll tell you that none of this is news. Even the fact that he's had these girlfriends, that he's a sugar daddy. That's not new. His wife has known about it. What what happened here is, best I can tell, <laughs> he was getting older. He thinks that what he says is profound, and he wants it. He wants it maintained for posterity. So he asked this V. Stiviano, the latest sugar baby, yeah, the little honey, uh, her. She she's telling people that he asked her to record him because what he says is brilliant, but he doesn't have the ability to remember everything he says now because he's eighty one years old and he wanted it kept for posterity. He wanted to have a record of what he had said in case there were any disputes with anybody about what he had said. So that's her story, and of course she is going to stick to it. Uh, there are over 100 hours of recordings of of Donald Sterling. So the, you know, the 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 real question now is why does it matter now? The guys that folks, you know what I've always said. <coughs> excuse me. Remember when we had a discussion um, about. When when they threw the guy from Mozilla overboard, and I, I had a monologue at the point at, at that point in time about um, how the left always seems to get away with things because their intentions are good. 
We're never supposed to judge the results of what they believe in. We're never supposed to judge the results of their actions or of their policies because they're good people and they're trying to do the right thing. They have honorable good intentions. And at the same time, they assign ill intention to us. And one of the one of the things that the left says uh, about people on the right is that like, when the Koch brothers, when, when David Koch gave $100 million to the hospital, they said, hey, he didn't really mean that. He's just doing that to cover up the fact he really doesn't like poor people. He's just doing that to cover up the fact that he really hates people. He's just doing that to keep people from finding out who the real David Koch is. That's what they say. Well, hello. This is exactly what this. That's Donald Sterling. Donald Sterling has been giving all his philanthropy and all these awards to cover up who he is. They actually do what they accuse us of doing. But I mean, I yeah, the Mozilla guy is Brendan Ike, and he's uh, long gone, of course. And what did he do? He gave a thousand dollars to a um, campaign that believed marriage between a man and a woman. Can you believe the bigotry? Can you believe the hatred? A guy like Brenda Knight. Now they're trying to figure out what to do about Sterling. They can't take away the team. They, they, they legally they can't take away. If they try to take away the team. Then Sterling will sue them and and tie them up in court. So what they can do? The Reverend Sharpton, by the way, on the case, the Reverend Sharpton, who was going to be awarded at the same banquet Sterling was going to be awarded, the NAA LCP LA branch is going to give the Reverend Sharpton award. The Justice Brothers are on the case. The Reverend Jackson, now comparing <laughs> picking cotton to picking basketballs if you have to play for the Clippers. <laughs> because, <coughs> excuse, I'm sorry, folks. I, really, I cannot shake this. It's, it's been a month now. And I'm doing everything I can. It's very rude to cough at you like that. I'm sorry. But when I start laughing... It upsets the breathing pattern that keeps the coughing in check. No, no, no. I don't know what Sharpton... Sharpton's... I don't, a snitch award. I don't know what he's getting an award for. I, I, I don't care. Uh, but but Sharpton is now on the case. The Justice Brothers on the case. They're going to go after the, the Clippers advertisers. And they're going to boycott this and boycott that. They're, they're, they're going to they're gonna shame... They're going to shame what's his name Sterling out of the picture. It 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 really. She's got this sugar baby named V. Dot Stiviano. Hell, I don't. It could be what she calls it in the internet age. And she got three or four aliases. And she's a groupie. You know, one day she's hanging around with a guy from the Dodgers. The next night she's hanging around with a guy from the Lakers. And here she is uh, being kept by Sterling. And he bought her uh, a house and a new car and gave her, I think, a million and a half dollars in cash. At that point, the ex-wife who still runs the team said, okay, wait, this is getting too far because that, now we're getting into what's going to eventually be my money. So the ex-wife has played a role. V. Stiviano has released the tape because she's trying to write a book about all this. And her theory is, her story is, that Sterling asked her to make these recordings. Private thoughts. They are indeed private thoughts. Uh, let this, you know, start thinking about if the NSA was taping your private thoughts and somebody got mad at you and decided to release them to TMZ, I mean, where would you be if anybody cared? No, they can't. They can't take the team away. Uh, there's nothing in the bylaws. I mean, in, in baseball, the Cincinnati Reds marred shot. They took Major League Baseball years to convince her to sell the Reds. So there's no, there's nothing in the bylaws to take the team away from him. And there's nothing in the bylaws to make him sell it. All they can do is put financial pressure, advertiser, you know, get, get all the sponsors out of there. And If Obama gets, they already did get involved. I mean, Obama's involved. He, he, he was over in Malaysia. What Obama, I mean, Obama's ripping America left and right across the sea.